So today we're going to make sublingual sildenafil tablets and we're going to put in our active ingredient and uh, we're going to put in a few flavor agents here. Pre-measured. We're going to have a look in there. We're just going to blend them all up. So we're going to put them through the sieve, and the uh, sieve will ensure that they are all the exact same size, which is important. For successful completion of these tablets, I'm going to put uh, just those ingredients in here. Let's see how that powder goes through in there. We're also going to take the RDT vehicle, which is a specialized vehicle for making these tablets. And all we do is we just push an active and the base and the flavoring agents all through. You can see in there that it takes a little bit to work it through. But we don't want to put the base, the RDT base, through the mortar and pestle like we just did with the other ingredients. It's very important that this will go through the mortar and pestle for it to work properly. So you're always left with a little bit of stuff here and uh, one way to get that down is to tap it all down and then put it in the middle, work it through again. And we'll try that one more time. A little bit there. Just hop it over to the middle, work it through. Okay. And so now, this is what we're left with. Now, that is not mixed together. So to do that, we're gonna use our Inversina again. We could just put it back into the mortar and pestle, but um, mixing with the Inversina is my favorite way of doing that. So if you want to have a look over here. We'll fill the Inversina jar. Those ingredients. This takes a couple of minutes to get that all in there, of course. Now our oven is preheating right now to uh, 230. And put the rest of that in there so you can see it. Okay. So the way the Inversina works is put the top on. Drop it like that. And when it spins, it's going to go back and forth and rotate around. And as you can see in the back here, that there's a little handle that we turn. And then you can see the jar will start to spin. I'll slow that down. You can see that this part here now is turning and it's flipping back and forth. So very quickly, within the space of just a few seconds, you can really blend in a lot of packed ingredients. Like that. Perfect. 
Now, our mold consists of uh, two metal plates. These are the, uh, the cups that will receive the active ingredient. And those will be pushed down with the other plate. so I can scrape some excess off. Now, let's pour that on there. And we're gonna spread that across. And fill all those holes right to the top. Now the base for this rapid dissolve, it's a specialized product that will allow, when this is cooked and then cooled, allow for a solid dose of form, but it's one that dissolves very quickly under the tongue. So that can, when you give things under the tongue, it, uh, goes directly to the site of action and avoids the liver. Cover everything here. Now, I'm gonna brush off the excess. that much in after we push down on these. So these holes will match up with those. And we basically push down as hard as you can. So when we lift this up, we now have room for more. So, a little bit left over. We'll do this one more time. Just a little bit left. And it's important to make sure you press down firmly here because you want to get all the air out. You want to compact this as much as you can. There's a little bit of work involved in doing that. So I'll just scatter the rest of the uh, remainder of this. There. These are now ready to put into the oven. Now we're going to use this part of the plate uh, after they're cooked. And it's a very specific uh, temperature and time. We're going to cook it for 230 degrees. 30 minutes on this particular plate. So your plate and um, your uh, base that you're using may vary. Sometimes we see cooking times of 15 minutes. This is actually going to be 30. This is preheated. So we're going to set it to bake at convection for 230 and it's going to be this time 30 minutes. 
on convection. And uh, when we come back here in 30 minutes, we will have cooked rapid dissolve tablets and we will pop them out and see how they look. And we'll see you then. So we have uh, about two minutes remaining. 230 degrees Fahrenheit and that's um, 30 minutes exactly that we're gonna have those rapid dissolve tablets in there for. So again we mentioned rapid dissolve the advantage to rapid dissolve is that when you put it under the tongue it bypasses the liver and it goes to the site of action and because of that we have a lower dose because the liver doesn't take a lot of it away. Um, and if you had a, a large meal and you take an oral tablet and swallow it, it's got to kind of get through all that food before it gets absorbed and then goes to work. But when you have a rapid dissolved tablet sublingual, it really doesn't matter what you have in your stomach because it's not going to go down there. It just gets absorbed under the tongue. Now there is some of it that will get absorbed and will still work if it's swallowed, but it's the stuff that gets absorbed under the tongue that we really want to look at. Uh, so one minute left. These are our... Uh, prescription pads that we have just to make it a little easier for the doctors uh, to write these out. Typically we'll use 40 milligram that's equivalent to the 100 oral tablet or the sublingual 20 is equivalent more to the 50. Turns out a lot of people take half of a 100 milligram tablet and uh, take the 50 and it's in small writing here but on the back if you want to have a look, you can see that uh, it gives the directions allowed to dissolve under the tongue, works in 5 to 30 minutes, unaffected by recent food intake, 40 milligram dose equivalent to the 100. That's important because we don't want people taking a couple of these to try to get up to 100 milligrams that they were taking orally. And some directions on how to peel the backing off of the uh, container, and we can show you that after we pack them. Not to take with nitrates, if you're on sublingual spray, you certainly do not want to take sildenafil. Now that that's finished, oven is off. We have our uh, pot rivers, and we're simply going to pull out. So essentially, they look the same. Not a big difference. Sit them down here for five to ten minutes at room temperature and allow them to cool. When we come back again, we're going to show you how we get them out of there and how we package them into a nice little dosage form that makes it easy for people to carry around and use. And uh, you can come back and join me in just a couple of minutes with that. Okay, so we have uh, waited our approximately five to ten minutes, about seven minutes right now, for these to cool after they came out of the oven. And uh, one thing I'd like to mention is the reference for these sublingual sildenafil from the International Journal of Urology 2004, and uh, it was entitled Sublingual Sildenafil and the Treatment of Erectile Dysfunction, Faster Onset of Action with Less Dose, which is the whole deal with sublingual. So, what we're now going to do is take the same plate that we were using to tamp down the powder before it went in the oven, but we're going to use the back of that plate and we're going to lay it flat down on top of here and we're going to flip them over holding both plates very carefully and we will uh, then attempt to knock these out. So the best way to get them out of here is to either hit it with your fist or if you have a rubber mallet, go with a rubber mallet and just give it a whack. Okay. So with any luck, most of these will now separate. Look at that. All but one. So we have 95 there. 
So really what we can do here is just to try to salvage this one, I'll flip that one over. And it's important to not knock it over these because if you can look back over here, these are pretty much powder. If I touched one of these now, it would all crumble apart. And uh, I'm watching the clock now because for 15 minutes we're going to let this uh, cool. And if we could just look at this one again, give it a whack. Let's see if that will come out. It's just about there. There we are. We have 96, and none of them have broken. So again, if you can uh, return, we're going to take our packaging, which these fit exactly into, and we are going to take our labeling, which we have pre-printed, and we're going to put them together. And we will have 96 sublingual tablets that seem to be perfectly made. So we'll see you in just a few minutes. So here is a new group of freshly made rapid dissolve tablets with our active drug in them. And we don't want to package these in something that's going to be rattling around in a bottle. What we want to do is put it in a package that keeps them all separate from each other and has a nice covering over them. So the easiest way to do this is we will bring our plate after they've cooled for these 15 minutes over here. So to remind you, when I first took them out of the oven, uh, if I had touched them, then they would have just crumbled apart. But when they were allowed a chance to cool, then um, they turned into a solid dosage form. And they fit exactly into these. Just handle them gently. So this will hold 20. And typically we sell these in lots of 10, um, but uh, I guess the prescription could be for whatever amount. And there's a little card sleeve that it will go into after I put the top on. So it's important since these are pretty fragile, when you're popping them out, there's the finished product there. When you're popping that, those out of there, you don't push it through the paper, you peel the paper back. Because if you go to push it through, you're gonna end up with a container full of dust. That is not holding together. All right, there we go. And it's important to have each one labeled. So we have a uh, pre-printed package that we use to cover these with. And this is what it looks like. time. Come on. Three more. At that point, we will just flip them over and press. There we 
we go. Now, there's our card that we'll put them in. And I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these and come back and uh, we'll show you what the finished product looks like in just a minute. Okay, so I've just finished packaging all of these. This is what the finished product looks like. And to package them in a form that will stay that way a long time, well, they're broken up. Uh, cut these 20 into two. And these are the sleeves that we'll use. We'll simply slide that. Store them at room temperature, not to humid an environment. And again, when you want to use them, uh, you simply peel back the paper and take one out instead of pushing them through. That is how you make sublingual rapid dissolve tablets. Thanks for joining me, and thanks Adam and Cam for helping film this for us.